you're all hyped up and then all of a sudden bang you're just in a you're just shifted to to another another mode that makes you so angry because uh, all the hard work that you put together is sometimes somehow not satisfactory to the to the government yeah and sometimes you run up against some stumbling blocks and you know and then you got to take another run at it and and, and do another route and that's uh, that's what we went through here sometimes i look at my grand grandchild who's two years old today how what what's his future gonna be what's his future August 31st, 1994, Kakawista Howe has been tirelessly pursuing what was taken from them. Like the early days of the land surrender petitions, Kakawista Howe's claims have been rejected again and again by government. At this point, the Indian Claims Commission decides to conduct its own inquiry. Since this surrender was taken at a time when the band had no recognized chief or headman, and its members were not allowed to elect new representatives or to seek independent advice, Serious questions arise whether the Crown took unfair advantage of the band at a time when a leadership void existed. In our view, had the Crown been interested in a fair and unbiased decision-making process, it would have waited until the band had a chief and headman before placing a decision of such importance before the voting members. In short, as long as Chief Kake Wistahau was alive, the surrender had been repeatedly rejected. The evidence does not support a finding that the band circumstances had changed significantly since before Kake Wistahau's death. Nor is there evidence that a new leader had emerged whose different vision of the band's future led to the surrender being considered in a new light. The fact it was necessary to call upon Kake no Winapio to swear the certification affidavit refutes any such contention. We are driven to the conclusion that Graham knew the band to be vulnerable and without leadership, and expressly chose to press his advantage. We are prepared to conclude that Kakawistahau Band effectively ceded its decision-making power regarding the 1907 surrender to the Crown that the Crown procured the surrender through its own tainted dealings. Lack of leadership, overwhelming government enthusiasm to attain the land, and tainted dealings were proven in the Indian Claims Commission inquiry, but it would not stop there. Appraisal testimony was taken which looked at the surrendered land versus the existing land. So then, in your opinion, with the fact that most of the surrendered land is good farming land, the fact that very little of the existing reserve is of good quality land, good quality farming land, and the fact that most of the existing reserve is of poor quality land, have been apparent to the Indian agents and the department representatives in 1907? Well, certainly the stones in the hill wash. I can't see how it couldn't be apparent. It covers such a large amount of the reserve, I would have to say, yes, you'd think they would notice it at that time as well. So then, in your opinion, was the surrender of the 33,000 acres in 1907 from the reserve a detriment to agricultural development of the members of the First Nation? I would say yes. Then, in your opinion, was the surrender of the 33,000 acres from the reserve in the best interest of the members of the First Nation? I don't believe so. The land that we do have today is, is um, inadequate, I guess, for, for our community, mm -hmm. for for younger people to um, possibly to purchase cattle, um, to farm, I mean, it's just, it's just not there for, for younger people today, as in um, my age group and younger. Finally, when offered the opportunity under subsection 49-4 of the 1906 Indian Act to reject a surrender that was clearly foolish and improvident and constituted exploitation, the government and council failed to do so. In short, Canada breached its fiduciary obligations by subordinating the interests of the band to the interests of the surrounding communities, as well as Canada's own political interests. <laughs>